Like most religious organizations, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints builds chapels or meeting houses as places of worship for its members. Typically, two or three local congregations or wards will hold services in each building, meeting at different times on Sundays to maximize the use of the facility. Classrooms are available for Sunday school and midweek activities for both children and adults. A library stocked with books and audiovisual media provides resources to help teachers, as well as families, study the gospel of Jesus Christ. The volunteer leader of each ward, called a bishop, has an office here to meet with the members and serve the needs of the congregation. Most meeting houses have a multi-purpose hall that is used during the week for various sports, music, drama, and social activities. With the rapid growth that the church is experiencing, a meeting house is being completed almost every day somewhere in the world. One of the unique characteristics of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the construction and use of special buildings called temples in which sacred ceremonies are conducted that differ from everyday worship. In the days of ancient Israel, God's people were commanded to build temples, like the Temple of Solomon, which stood in Jerusalem for centuries. It was called the House of the Lord, and here the Israelites performed sacred rites and renewed the covenants they had made with God. Latter-day Saint temples are modern-day houses of the Lord. They are special, sacred places where church members may set aside everyday cares, learn and meditate, and renew their relationship with God. More than 100 temples are now in operation around the world, with many more planned or under construction. When a temple is completed, an open house is held so the general public can see the inside of the building and learn about the activities that will take place there. After our temples have been dedicated, only members of the church who meet a high standard of personal worthiness may enter these special buildings because of the sacred nature of the rites performed there. Everyone is dressed alike in white clothing, symbolic of purity and oneness with God. Here they receive additional instruction and blessings and commit their lives to Jesus Christ. One of the most important ceremonies conducted in the temples is the sealing of families together in a marriage covenant and family relationship which does not end with death but can endure throughout all eternity. Families who prepare for and participate in this ceremony have generally proven to be much closer and stronger than those who do not. For all of our Heavenly Father's children, temples are places where they can receive eternal blessings. Each temple is truly the house of the Lord.